guys, what's up? So today I am doing another cooking video and this is a cooking video that I literally just thought of. I've never made this before, but I eat it quite frequently and it is a buffalo cauliflower. So a vegan option for buffalo wings, buffalo chicken wings is the cauliflower and they serve it at a lot of places and there's this place that I actually get it all the time it is called air one it is a grocery store and they have hot food and that is something that i get every single time i think i feel like it's healthy because there's just not a lot of salt in it and i'm doing it without flour i feel like flour is something that it's optional and you guys can totally use it but i'm gonna do it without flour i feel like flour is not very healthy Whenever I think of things that are healthy, I always think of like colorful things. So I feel like things that are white, like flour and stuff like that, or like white bread, is not really good for you. So I'm gonna do it without flour. I'm super excited to do this because I've been craving this and I love it so much and I always go there to get it. So I was like, you know what? Why not bring it into the home and do this together? It's super healthy and good for you and I've been craving it. So I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients. Obviously, I did get some cauliflower right here from Trader Joe's. This is a whole flower. I'm gonna use the whole thing. And then, oh my God, my shirt is like so like not healthy Pepsi. I actually got it at Forever 21 a long time ago and um, I was just wearing it. But I don't drink soda at all unless it's just sparkling water. And I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients that I'm gonna use for the sauce. And it's super duper easy. So here, Cholula. Next, we have ground black pepper. I have Himalayan, pink Himalayan sea salt, garlic powder, some agave. Um, the recipe that I looked up said honey, so obviously I'm not gonna use honey because I wanna make this truly all vegan. And some sriracha. These are the ingredients, and let's get started and start making buffalo cauliflower wings. So what you wanna do before you start making anything, you want to set the oven, preheat the oven, Two, four, fifty. All right. Yes. All right, guys. So I'm gonna take my cauliflower florette and I cut off a little bit of the green part. So I'm gonna cut off a little bit more, and then I'm gonna create like little bite-sized pieces for our wings. So I have this cute bowl right here, it's a huge one, and I angled the camera downwards so you guys can see what's going on inside of the bowl. So I'm gonna make the sauce right here for the buffalo cauliflower. And in the recipe that I looked up, a lot of people have recommended to use Frank's Red Hot Sauce, but I'm gonna be using Cholula because I do love the flavor of it. So I'm going to put and eyeball it around three fourths of a cup. I'm literally just gonna put the whole thing that I had left. That's what it looks like. And then I'm gonna take garlic powder and I'm gonna put one teaspoon of garlic powder in here. Ooh, it smells so garlicky. And then I'm gonna take this organic blue agave sweetener and I'm gonna put a tablespoon of it in here. And then I'm gonna take a quarter of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt. And then I'm gonna take a quarter of a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And then I'm gonna mix this all together. And if you wanna spice it up even more and add a little bit of kick to it, you can put a quarter teaspoon of sriracha. A little bit of it. And then I put all my cauliflower in this huge Ziploc bag. This is the gallon size. And I'm gonna take my sauce and I'm gonna make sure I don't spill it. 
every bit of it. Zip it up. So now I feel like it is pretty much covered in the buffalo sauce. I know it's not as orange as regular buffalo wings, but I feel like it's starting to look really like buffalo wings. So I'm gonna actually just go ahead and finish this up and put it on the cookie sheet. So this is my cookie sheet and I am just going to literally throw it on. So it's kind of like evenly dispersed. My hands are clean. <laughs> and I'm going to put this in the oven. So I'm gonna leave it in there for about 20 to 30 minutes until crispy and we will do a taste test. So I just took it out of the oven. I had it in for about 20 minutes and some of them were like a little bit burnt. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need to take it out. It looks good. It doesn't look like super buffalo-y, if you know what I mean, but it does look good. So we will taste test it right now. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I feel like they do look like the grocery store or the Air One or restaurant buffalo wings, the cauliflower ones. So I'm gonna actually use chopsticks to try it. So that's what it looks like. Mmm. It's good. It definitely tastes like it. Um, I thought the color coloring, it's more orange, but the flavor is actually really, really flavorful. It has like bold taste, and I could taste all the like garlic powder and the hot sauce and everything. It tastes really good.